let us see one more thing. These antibodies, these antibodies are called agglutinins, agglutinins. Why? What is agglutination? Agglutination is the clumping of the red blood cells. So, when red blood cells are mixed with the antibodies that react with these antigens, these antigens are going to going to capture the red blood cells. So, let us say here is the red blood cell, here is another red blood cell, another red blood cell has gotten the antigens on top of them. When the antibodies come IgM or IgG, these are going to connect like this and once these are connected, all these red blood cells are going to clump up like a clump or aggregate and that is called agglutination. So, clumping up of the red blood cells due to the antigens, antibodies binding to the antigens on the surface is called agglutination. So, of course, these antibodies are called agglutinins, they cause the agglutination and the antigens are called agglutin, agglutinogens, A, A, glutinogens. So, agglutinogens and agglutinins. So, instead of saying antigen and antibody, these are the special names that are used in, in case of the blood transfusion topic. Okay, so, now we understand what is in the on the surface of the blood cells and we understand what is in the serum. Now, let us talk about how the type blood typing is done. So, keep this in mind. So, let us see how the blood typing is done. So, the, the way the blood typing is done is a person's blood. So, let us say we want to see what is Mubin's blood type and um, blood type B. So, let us say the person's blood is taken and those RBCs are put on one side of the slide. So, this is my blood on one side and then this is my blood on the other side of the slide as well or two places. Then the blood is poured, so we drop on this blood anti A serum and anti B serum. What does that mean? All that means is that we are dropping antibodies to A and antibodies to B here. And what does that mean? Over here, we have sent in IgM that would react with B antigen, this antigen. And over here, we have sent IgM that would react with A antigen. Now, let us say it is my blood and I am B, but at this time we did not know what would happen is antibody B. So, if I make one RBC out of this one, so here is the one RBC and that RBC is going to have B on it. So, how is that B? This is the, this is the galactose, this is galactose plus fucose and this is the N-acetyl glucose, right, the structure. So, this is B. So, I have gotten B here. So, it may be B and B or B or H. There are two. So, I am just going to make B H. So, it is fast N glucose and galactose and fucose. So, this is the B. I have gotten B. Now, what we sent in is we have sent in IgM that is going to cross react with B. So, what would happen is IgM is going to come and capture or bind to this B. Then there is another RBC that is also showing the same B. This is another RBC and that is also showing the B. The other is going to bind, other end is going to bind there. So, this is the IgM. And similarly, there is one more IgM that is going to do that here. And so, the result is many RBCs are going to become clumped together, right. And so, we will say agglutination occurred. A a glutination occurred on this side. However, on this side, we have sent an antibody against A antigen and my blood cells are not showing any A antigen, they only have B. So, this A antibody has no place to attach and so this side, the blood is going to stay fluid and it is not going to clump up. So, based on that, they would say, well, Mubin, your blood group is B. Now, let us see the other option. If the B did not clump up and A became agglutinated, then that would mean that the blood group is A. Blood group A means RBCs are showing the antigen A and when we sent in the antibody against antigen A, these would combine and the clumping would occur. If they both clumped, 
that means I have antigen A and I have antigen B on my RBC surfaces that means I am AB. If none of them clumped that means I do not have antigen A or antigen B in that case what do I have? I have gotten the antigen O right and antigen O does not show antigenicity so that would be O or empty right. So this is how the typing is done very simple process. Guys thank you very much for watching this video make sure that you like and subscribe and if possible share it with your friends as well.